In this video, we want to look at snippets uh, and talk about what they are and how we use them. They're kind of like a scene within a scene. Most people know how to save a scene. When you um, get to the scene tab, you want to um, you know, just save a scene, call it whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call this one test. save. That's how you save a scene. But most people don't mess with the snippets. And this is something that can easily be uh, used. And the advantage is you can set parameters and uh, for instance channel fader, volume, uh, and mutes and that kind of thing. And they're just easy little quick re recalls without changing the scene. Um, so you know, a lot of people will change between scenes, but then if they need to make a minor adjustment to a mic gain or something, they have to go into each scene and change it. So this allows you to uh, have a workaround and use uh, snippets and save snippets in order to accomplish the goal. So the first thing you're going to do is define what you want the snippet to be. So it looks like it's going to be this third knob here. I'm, I usually use snippets to recall uh, fader level and mute. Uh, whether something muted or not, muted or not. Um, from there, you want to say, you know, what do you want it to apply to? And so you're going to select all these channels uh, associated with the snippet. I usually just select all my input channels. And you'll only have to do this once, and I'll show you how to do that. Um, so what this is saying is for all of these channels, I want to save the mute and the fader settings on these particular channels when I recall this particular snippet and there's ways there's different ways to recall a snippet in this scene you can see you've got the bottom left of your screen you've got load and you've got save but you can also um, on your assignable buttons on the right middle side of your console you can make those buttons be scene recalls and that way you stay within the scene and uh, for instance, if you're in a church, you can hit the button pastor and it'll unmute pastor but mute every other channel, things like that. Um, and then you can simply run the console by push button control, which is really nice. So uh, we've set this up, we've got all the channels selected. Uh, we probably want to go ahead and um, make this work for you, the auxiliary inputs as well. That way we'll include the USB drive and any type of CD players plugged into the quarter inch inputs. The first 32 obviously are just referring to the XLR inputs. So now that I've uh, set this up the way I want to set it up, I then go in and mute whatever channels I want to mute. So let's say um, for the sake of argument, let's say uh, podium. We're going to call this one podium. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute everything but the podium. I'm going to turn the podium up to the level I want it to be turned up, up to on my uh, fader. And then I'm going to save this as podium. Okay. Now, once I do that, let's save again. Once I do that, that that snippet is saved. Whatever whatever mute buttons are pressed and whatever level those faders are at, it's going to store it there. Um, and then. You know, there's another scene we can call, uh, uh, here's another snippet you can call. Um, we'll turn everything off, turn all the faders down, hit the mute button, and we'll call this one uh, off. And this can be like your emergency button. So when I, when I load Podium, it'll turn up that level of that Podium microphone, it'll unmute it, and then when I load the off, that fader will go down, all the channels will be muted, um, just things like that. So it is that easy. Um, if you have any questions about this or you're having trouble with it, I'd love to help you. Um, my company is Impact Technologies. We're out of Concord, North Carolina. My phone number is 704-400-5364. Give me a call. We can talk about this further and uh, you can tell me how you're using this or how I screwed this video up or, or whatever you want to do, but uh, give me a call uh, and see if I can be of any help to you and I uh, wish you guys luck with this.